Okay, so let's think of some solutions for it's too easy to train. Okay, so solutions for it's too easy to train. Okay, so the first solution that comes to my head is ultimately with it being too easy to trade, a lot of the things that I suffered from is that first example I gave with it, which is you buy stock, it starts going down, you start questioning all your decision making, you put a ton of research that you knew you wanted to buy that stock, but let's say it drops 10% one day because some odd factor, and now you panic sell. And that causes you to lose money, you decide you don't want to invest anymore, you take it out, you delete Robinhood. I think one thing we could do is a trade time lock. To clarify what that means is essentially when you make a trade or buy a stock, you're doing that on kind of educated information. You think it's going to go up. So with the trade time lock, what I think, and no platform currently offers this, is we might be able to lock a trade. So if I buy Amazon, I would be able to use this trade time lock that I wouldn't be able to sell Amazon until a specific date. So I, as the user, could self-impose restrictions on myself to not let myself sell or that buy more of that stock until a set time period. Obviously, is what if you actually need to and you change your mind? Maybe we could add some other layer of security, but that's the first solution that really comes to mind is just putting self-imposed, allowing users to set their own self-imposed restrictions. I think the second one is separate separate portfolios. And what I mean by separate portfolios is essentially when I am making investments, sometimes I'll make a short term investment as in like I'll buy this stock thinking it'll go up in six months, but in the long term, I don't think it's going to go well. But then you also have your long term investments. For example, I own a ton of Amazon and I just I just want to leave that Amazon alone for five years. I don't want to see it. I don't want to be reminded of it. I just want to forget about it, but I like to know it's there. So I think with separate portfolios, one of the things that happened with me as Robinhood is if I put all my long-term investments in there, I then have a ton of cash in there. So I start making short-term investments. I lose money on the short-term investments. Then I take it all out and move it back. I kind of like not checking on the long-term investments at all. And I just don't like being reminded of them. I just want to put them away. So I think what we could do with separate portfolios is Robinhood users could create their own portfolios. So they could designate like, so when you open Robinhood, there's one screen that shows all the stocks you hold, shows the market value, shows how it does. What happens is people start checking that every day. And you really, with your long-term investments, you don't want to check that every day because the stock goes down 5% one day, up 5% the next. It kind of all evens out in the long run. But if you're doing it every day, it drives you nuts. And what, so what I want to do with separate portfolios is we could have Robinhood users allocate, like, I'm buying these stocks, I want it to go in this portfolio. I'm buying these stocks, I want it to go in this portfolio. And then when you log into Robinhood, just open the front page, it only shows you the portfolio you want to be on the front page. And then you have to go through multiple extra steps to get to their portfolios. In the back end, Robinhood still functions pretty much the same, but we're basically altering the UI to psychologically give Robinhood users uh, the peace of mind they don't need to see their long-term portfolio unless they really want to. That way they don't intercommingle their long-term and short-term investments. So that's what short separate portfolios is. And three, I think what we could do is to prevent people from too easy to trade is I don't necessarily think this is the best solution, but I think it's one we could go with is retirement accounts. And I kind of like this because it also solves the no retirement options. But I think the advantage with retirement accounts is usually you just put the money in, forget about it. Um, could also come in the form of separate portfolios. Um, but retirement accounts, people usually don't trade in these. They just buy their index funds and forget about it. So maybe offering retirement accounts on Robinhood would make the people who are too easy to trade start using these and then they wouldn't delete the account. Um, that's just a thought. But th so the three solutions are time trade lock, self-imposed trading restrictions, separate portfolios, allowing users to allocate certain stocks to certain portfolios. And then the next one is retirement accounts, offering Roth IRAs or regular IRAs to Robinhood users. When we're evaluating these three solutions, I wanna rank them on two criteria. I'm gonna go back to user impact, and then I also wanna do ease of implementation. The reason I wanna include ease of implementation is because before we jump ahead, but 
it's the idea that just if one of these solutions is only going to take us a month, the other one's going to take us four years, then we might as well just do the month one, get the quick win, then go to the four year one, even if the four year one is substantially better. So I just want to include that a factor as well. So let's plot this. So this is the diagram we're going to use. Uh, the y-axis is going to be our user impact, so how, uh, how helpful to our users is this solution going to be? And then implementation, so this is going to be uh, very difficult to implement. This is going to be uh, very easy to implement. So ultimately, we want our solution to be about in this quadrant right here, because this is going to be harder to implement this is going to be easiest to implement. So I'm not going to worry about specific numbers because we're just ranking these relative to each other. So placement doesn't really matter, just comparatively. But let's first start with the trade time lock. So ultimately, I think this would be pretty easy to implement because we're thinking about it implementation-wise. All we're doing is basically if changing a route. So we wouldn't basically allow the user to click like certain buttons. Um, during that given time train. So they basically could click bot, they could take sit, click sell in the stock, and a notification come up saying like you self-impose this lock. We would have to create some new paths for it, but ultimately it's really just rerouting users, not a lot of changes to the back end. Uh, so I think we could put uh, trade time lock about somewhere in the middle for ease of implementation, and then we can rank other two against it. And then for user impact, I think it really, it could go any direction really. Um, I think some users may really like it and it would serve as a great reminder to them. Just like, oh yeah, like I told myself I wasn't gonna sell the stock before October, but I think also like some people, depending on how we created this, would have an absolute meltdown. Like if we didn't allow them to trade and the, the stock was dropping like free fall, like the stock market started crashing. So let's assume with trade time lock that we're not gonna have that horrible edge case where we lock users in forever. Let's have say they need to put in a new password. We have them create another password for this. So they would have to enter the regular password, then a new one, uh, just to give them extra steps with that trade lock. I think that would have a relatively solid user impact. So let's put number one right here. Um, we can just put it in the middle and we'll rank the other ones next, right, uh, against it. So separate portfolios. So separate portfolios, again, I think has a really pretty easy ease of implementation. It's just changing up the UI a little bit, adding that new feature. Uh, the way trades are placed on the back end are still pretty similar. So I would rank uh, the separate portfolios on about the same level of ease of implementation for the trade time lock. I, I might rank it a little bit easier, to be honest, because we'd have to, with the trade time lock, we're gonna if we're gonna have people create new passwords, I think that's gonna to start to become more complicated. We're gonna to need to store those. We'll have to worry about security with them. So I actually think separate portfolios are going to be easier. There might also be some legal ramifications with trade time lock. I'm not sure what the SEC, SEC implies, but um, yeah, I, I think separate portfolios would be a bit easier. In terms of user impact, I personally, as a Robinhood user, would rather have a separate portfolio then I'd be encouraged to have my long-term investments in there and my short-term, but I wouldn't really have to worry about them intercommingling. I could still have them separate in my head and see how they both perform differently. Then you could also have a portfolio for tax, you could have a portfolio for agriculture, and you could be able to comparatively see which one performs better over time, and it'd be easier to kind of separate those out. So I actually, I think separate portfolios is going to be easier to implement and have a higher user impact and I actually, I would love that as a Robinhood user. So definitely higher in user impact, easier implementation. Retirement accounts, by far, I think is gonna be the hardest to implement because I'm assuming that Robin hasn't put, hasn't like implemented this already due to how hard it is. If we think about it, like you probably have to get approval by the government, like the SEC to offer IRAs, like you'd have to probably improve the back end for that as well. Like we're gonna, no retirement accounts for legal restrictions and engineering is definitely be harder to implement. In terms of user impact, I think it solves the problem we're talking about. 
I really like it because it also solves the no retirement option we talked about. But again, if we're trying to get people to not like, I mean, and it also would help to stop people from deleting the app. But I don't think people are really going to Robinhood for retirement accounts. A lot of people that go here to learn about investing, um, to learn about investing. And I think it's a great idea. I don't necessarily know if it targets our pain point well. So I'm gonna launch, I'm going to say it's harder to implement. And I'm gonna say the user impact is on par with trade time lock. Because I think they solve the problem in two different ways. Um, but ultimately we still know that separate portfolios is better. And I, I, that's why we're gonna go. We're gonna go with separate portfolios and say that separate portfolios is the number one solution.